causes of frustration. What do you think are some of the causes of frustration? Uh, third, uh, the third element or the thing that we need to look again is the reactions to frustration. Reaction to frustration. How do we tend to react? And then lastly, solutions to frustration. Uh, these are the key areas that are so much important for us to be able to look at so that you can get oriented on uh, what we need to undertake. Uh, now, I will ask you to, to share with me some of the causes of frustration. Maybe first of all, Jen Sarah, can you tell us what frustration is? Uh, what is frustration? What is frustration? What is frustration, Jen, Sarah? Uh, hello. Yes. I would say frustration is like the feeling of being annoyed or as a result of being unable to change something or achieve something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh -huh. Not being able to achieve one's objective. Uh -huh. Uh, Caroline, let's have an input. That's a good, good trial. That's a good attempt. Very good attempt. Uh huh. Caroline. Uh, what do you think? Let's hear your your part. Your part on frustration. What what says you? Uh -huh. So it's one well, can say when one is unable to achieve uh, something or they are able to get to what they have set out to do. Like we are trying to connect to this online uh, conference in vain for almost an hour. We have been struggling to find avenues for connection. It was really frustrating uh this this other web alternative web conferencing by kenneth web conference uh, i it, it's a little bit cumbersome to connect to uh compared to the or the bbbb uh so, so you need password, you need to share them, you need to fail to get it right, it doesn't get uh, along and all that. So very frustrating. So when you are not able to achieve something or to do something, you get frustrated. What else, what else can we say about Caroline, Amma, you have oh, you have written. You still have scratches. Uh -huh. Why? No. Why? Yes, I I can't hear you clearly. Honestly, can't hear me. Can't hear me. Yes, I hear you. Then there are scratches. Then I can't hear you. I don't know if it's on my side or didn't hear. Can you hear scratching? I don't know if it's me. On my part. On my part you can't you can't hear me. Hello. Hello. Uh -huh. Can do you hear scratches? Like it's like, not it's not it's that consistent. Kida go kida go. Ah, me young. I just skip it. Jonas, Jonas, for man is sometimes. Yes, sometimes I hear. Sometimes I don't. Let me log out oh. and log oh. in. Caroline, Caroline, you have come, come, to come to like you are speaking like, here live. Here live. Huh? On my point, I hear you. On my point, I hear you. Oh. Now, 
I'm hearing you, but there, at some point there are scratches. Why can't hear you? Oh, I wonder what. Let's, let's try to wait, to wait and see what is happening. Too bad we look for alternatives, okay? Alternatives, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it's yeah, too bad we can connect can to Google, 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 but project but through this. Project through this, eh? Now, there are, I'm learning activities. I was asking us about what frustration is. It's when one does, is not able to achieve whatever they have set out to do, or when one experiences an annoying or annoyance, especially with like with the scratches and the sounds that are not coming out clearly, uh, they can cause frustration. And uh, of course, Uh, any acts that prevent success of something or an activity you are trying. To, uh, there are some things or some acts or some objects that try to hinder, try to hinder your activities. So all this leads to frustration and uh, make people get to a point where they don't feel uh, really wanting to continue with that. So that's the uh, same mean by uh, So what do you think are some of the causes of frustration? Uh, maybe let's get input and hear one uh, causes of frustration. As you are thinking about it, there are these activities that are projected there. Uh, of course, I have uploaded some notes for you to read. And uh, uh, what you did in research, those who did this topic, uh, and uh, some of us who took notes in class, we can be able to orientate ourselves. Now, what are the causes? That is what we're asking. And what are some of the reactions? Those are the activities that I'm going to post them on the portal for your action. Now, what are some of the causes? Just one from each one of us. Just one each, just one each, and we look at the rest. Pressure from work. Yeah, pressure from work, right? Uh, Jensera, what are the cause of frustration? Lack of recognition. Yeah, lack of recognition. Uh -huh. When one is not acknowledged for what good they have done, Sometimes it becomes frustrating and people tend not to uh, be happy about what gets on or what goes on. Um, uh -huh. Any other source that we can, any other cause, not source, any other cause of frustration? Uh, in life, in general life, you have pressure from work, yes, lack of recognition, or you achieve something and no one take notice of it. Uh, what do you think? Inadequate resources. Inadequate resources. Uh, 
uh, in on our notes, you'll find that there is a the first statement indicated there are unlimited resources. It is supposed to be limited resources. Okay, uh, let me do that projection so that we can make that correction on our notes. Yes, uh, poor working condition. Yes, when the working condition is not as good as we expect, it can be very frustrating. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, so let's, these are causes of frustration. Now, if you check from your notes, the notes are uploaded on the portal there, are those are slight mistake there on that first point. Uh, it was reading unlimited resources. Now, the right thing is limited resources. Limited is inadequate resources. So the best thing we can use, the best word for us to use is adequate, inadequate resources. That can be frustrating because you want to achieve your objective, but <clears throat> you realize that you are not able to, to do it because uh, So something is lacking. So when resources are not enough or, or are limited or are not available, work performance becomes a challenge, becomes so frustrating because what you need, let's say, for example, you are in a restaurant and you need an ingredient and you realize that it is not there, then it, you are not able to achieve your objective of preparing a particular dish that you really wanted to prepare. Uh, so you realize that you are not able to achieve your objective of the work you're doing. Uh, there's another one, projects they are called unclear relationship. That is where employees do not know who to report to. For example, you find that more than one manager wants to give you orders or want to allocate duties to you. Sometimes it's become uh, challenging because you are doing this role, performing that role, assigned by your supervisor, and someone else come and also wants to assign you roles. And uh, it makes it uh, really, really frustrating of the expectations of one of the principles of management is uh, requires that there should be only one manager, one supervisor in, uh, or an, an employee should be reporting to one particular supervisor. Another problem is unclear communication. This results when uh, employees find it hard Employees find it hard to understand what is expected of them because communication doesn't come out clearly or does not give the right direction uh, to the work performance. So you find that, is it this to be done or is it that? So in that case, you realize that work effort becomes a challenge. The fourth, the fourth one that we need to look at is um, the fourth cause of frustration is the, uh, the differences in goals. Differences in goals is, uh, is one of the major challenges because one person's goal may be not be the same as another person's goal. So you find that if you have your objectives, you have your targets to you need to fulfill, then someone else, maybe your supervisor, for example, 
or maybe other employees, for example, have got a different goals and you need to work together. So you find that you will be colliding most of the time. Uh, like, for example, there are team activities, uh, activities that are to be done by a number of people who require to work as a team. You find that if team members are not um, cohesive in, or are not working in one accord, you find that blending that team becomes a challenge. We also talk about organizational climate. This is what one of you said is a uh, working condition. That is work environment. And that is, uh, if someone has talked about it, it's the same as working condition. Uh, especially if it's frustrating, if it is a challenge, it is not really employee friendly, it becomes a problem. Then uh, personal background. This is, for example, uh, what happens at home? What happens at home or in society or uh, within people's cultures? The way they perceive things can affect people's work, can affect people of the red, or they, they give their, uh, they perform their responsibilities at workplace. We find that the effects Things that happen at home sometimes can reflect uh, at the workplace in a negative way. Now, lack of goal harmony, lack of goal harmony is the same as goal differences. So we can connect those two. Goal difference and uh, lack of goal harmony is the same thing. So we can you see that one highlighted in yellow is the same same thing that we need to deal with. But then of course poor staffing. Poor staffing means that so much work with very few employees. Uh, it means that you find that sometimes members of staff have to do that. Activities, or they have to take roles that are uh, done other members uh, on a different note. Also, you realize employers bring in people with poor qualification, qualification. so leads to poor work being done, like most technical jobs or technical activities, like in. In the hospitality industry, it is, uh, it's more technical eh? because you have to use your skills to produce an outcome. So you find that if you don't have somebody who is skillful or talented, you might find the outcome of the work being very uh, poor or, or the quality of work becomes uh, uh, a challenge. And then that can be frustrating. Now, this is a employer's policy, especially policy that regards an em employer. What are the policies that govern the employer-employee relationship? Sometimes uh, such policies may be bent on curtailing the growth of employees and it becomes frustrating to the members of that organization. Or maybe the employer uh, sets targets that are impractical or uh, restrict the activities of the employees or try various ways to victimize or any slightest mistake is used against the employee or uh, any perceived wrongdoing is punished without mercy, you know can frustrate employees. Lack of procedures for motivation and of providing incentives. Like, like this is more or less like recognition, for example. You find that employees, they do a wonderful job. No one take notice of that. There is 
there are no incentives to encourage them and there are no incentives to uh, or to boost the morale of the employees so you find that employees feel that their work uh, are not taken uh, seriously or their efforts are taken for granted can be frustrating role and status that are inconsistent with what one is doing for example you employ an accountant and you start giving them uh, duties uh, duties of a, an administrator uh -huh. you employ them to reconcile books to do all those accounting stuff and then you start uh, you, you give them or allocate them duties that are supposed to be done by the office messenger to clean here, prepare tea, deliver this, or you give them a duty that is for a personal assistant, you know, uh, or you allocate them duties that are completely unrelated to the work, like go and pick my child from school, uh -huh, go and pay, uh, deposit this money for me in my bank account, hey, go and pick this item from this shop, no, you know, it, is, it becomes exceedingly uh, frustrating when somebody is allocated duties that are not related to the work they're supposed to do, uh, or the work they were employed to perform. Overwork, this is one, one very frustrating thing that organizations uh, sometimes uh, expose their employees, especially in the hospitality industry. Uh, during the pre-COVID time or those days when hospitality was at its peak, you know, sometimes you find their patrons in a particular outlet. Uh, there's a stream of them, you know, like uh, then the staff members are very few, especially the service, uh, customer service people that is food and beverage service, you know, food and beverage service, the, the waiters. Eh? Uh, you find that they have shifts and that the shifts are so busy. Like this one outlet in Nairobi is very popular. Uh, and they even host weddings and what have you. Safari Park, very popular with, with foreigners and locals. Eh? You find that you get there, it is work from from the very moment you report to the very moment you check out, and then there are shifts. So shift from early morning, from the afternoon, and to the late night. Uh, so you find that uh, too much work. You know. uh, this one we had also identified lack of recognition. Good. So those are some of them. Uh, sources or causes of frustration. There are even still more of them. There are just, just a few of them that we are able to identify. Now, how do we handle frustration? And work. How do we handle frustration? Uh, let's hear your suggestions. Uh, who's going to start? How do we handle frustration? How do we deal with frustration? Yes, how do we deal with frustration? Mm -hmm. Caroline, uh, let's test your mic again whether it's now okay. You are now unmuted. Um, we deal with frustration. Hello? Yes, 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 yes. Go on. You can hear Go on. Me. 
very clear. Very clear. Okay. Uh, we can deal with frustration by maybe recognizing our staff, uh, like uh, this, uh, what do we call them? Employee of the month award or of the year award. Uh -huh. Yes, Jelzera, what can we say about frustration? How do we handle it? Uh, you can deal with it by the like the management can provide enough resources for the employees. Provision of adequate resources, eh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I want to give another point. Like we can also give yeah, a yes, yes. one to boredom of the employees. Mm -hmm. Or to reduce the boredom of employees. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good, let's see what we have for how to handle frustration. Uh, you can be able to look at a few put submit on them, like for example, uh, offering and development. Now ask the frustration. Now when you train and improve your employee skills, for example, they find it much, much more easier to Perform the the roles that they have been assigned. They become they become better and better, and this allow them to be able to provide professional content. And uh, in most cases, uh, in hospitality, for example, during the low season, uh, most facilities would give their offer their employees uh, refresher courses, and those courses are meant to help them improve on their skills so that they can be able to, to deliver. Is, uh, is this uh, this college, Utali, Kenya Utali College, uh, established by the Act of Parliament, actually is the, the establishment that the government of Kenya put in place to train uh, uh, employees or to train uh, staff in the hospitality industry. Is actually a collaboration between the Swiss government and the government of Kenya. And through the Act of Parliament, it established that. And uh, for all the facilities that operate, that is hotel and tourism, there was a levy that, was, that is being charged. And uh, initially, all that money was delivered to Kenya Tele College. Uh, today, I think it has changed a little bit. So, Initially, the best trainers for staff in the hospital industry was from there. But of course, there are many colleges today that do the same uh, and they reach the standards of the world standard. But what I want to say that is uh, many facilities in Kenya or sometimes even outside of Kenya would recommend their employees to take refresher courses. And this is meant to improve on their skills. Now that deals with frustration. Therefore, benefits are able to work effectively and efficiently at workplace. Another thing that we can say about is involving employees in decision making, <coughs> whereby they take part. They are given that opportunity to. They are notified of new development, new things that come to the organization, so that. They are part of it. Uh, did you just wake up and find that a, a new policy is in place and they do not know about it, they do not know how it will affect them. Then, of course, rewarding strong performance, those who do a, a better job need to be rewarded in that way. You find that is very important. Eh? 
effective communication can be a key way of dealing with frustration. Uh, another important one is defining employees' role so that they know exactly what they are supposed to do in that organization. And don't just employ people, but they don't know what their role is. So they must know exactly what are they coming to do in that organization. If no role is defined, then anything goes. Can be allocated duty here, sweep the floor, take tea, prepare tea for the boss, perform personal assistance job, uh -huh, do this, do that. So defined roles are important. It handles frustration very well. And then being proactive, what does this mean? Uh, this is like bombarding your team with news that you remember today you report in the morning you were told uh, your supervisor is gone and it's a new person in charge, you know. Uh, surprising your team members or your employees with new things that are just done haphazardly without uh, prior knowledge or prior warning. So in, case, in many cases, such kind of uh, abrupt changes and planned changes, uh, they tend to make people frustrated. You don't know what will come out tomorrow. You find that employees do not know whether they shall keep their jobs, that tomorrow, uh, are, we, are we safe? Are we secure? Is, so do we have job security? Uh, like uh, an organization that conducts summary dismissal, for example, you you find that tomorrow you come to work, you are told there is no job, there is no vacancy, whatever. So it can be frustrating. So being proactive means that things need to be communicated in time. There should be procedures for handling any issue that might affect employees or employers. And should there be a need for dismissal or need for termination, there must be a clear procedure that indicates or give employees good reason uh, that reasons for in case a termination may be necessary. Uh, another thing is involving employees, especially when important issues that pertains to the work are concerned, uh, involving them in decision making, just like uh, uh, or or allowing them to participate in a way uh, that will encourage that they are part of the activities of the organization. We can also talk about keeping the line of communication open, whereby employees can actually are free to express uh, their, their mind, their opinion, or their feelings about the work-related issues. Eh? Then, of course, another thing is uh, try out for look at a way of handling frustration by maybe coming up with uh, mechanisms to, to reduce uh, negative energy or to ensure that employees' morale is boosted. So sometimes involve employees in activities that are uh, not related to work, like team building, like sports activity, like encouraging uh, formation of formal groups and such like, uh, so that it can relieve them of the pressure of the challenging work environment. Uh, Talk about uh, performance management programs, for example, uh, uh, encourage uh, more employees to, to set a benchmark or to set targets or come up with uh, performance objectives. So especially in form <coughs> formation of personal goals, they need to 
set goals, set targets, align those targets with organization targets, and you can evaluate themselves and also have a performance evaluation by the supervisors and by the uh, departments or by the overall management so that from this performance uh, objective, employees can be, can determine what's going on. Uh, they are digressing. Eh? So, mm -hmm. talk about empowerment, where a way of like delegating some work, some time, uh, giving employees some roles to play, some responsibility abilities to play. Like when there are events in an organization, uh, it is important at one point to choose one to moderate that event, encourage them to participate here and there when things like normally when it happens in that some one some of the like even roles like uh, moderating a meeting, uh, being an MC, yes. mm -hmm. you find that uh this gives them opportunity to express themselves and to exercise uh leadership potential uh, and working with people so some some of uh such role might work towards empowering employees to do certain activities so it's not just about work work do you meet your target produce perform your role perform this perform when opportunity arises, you can also bring in your employees to be able to have those opportunities to grow. And of course, uh, very important, ensure there is adequate resources, uh, financial equipment, materials uh, <clears throat> to make the work efficient. Uh, this one is the one we started with training. It's just uh, an addition, eh? uh, good. Now, I want you to discuss this area. Uh, open your mic so that you can discuss the two of them. Eh? Amazing, we started with the consequences of frustration. Consequences of frustration. What are some of the consequences of frustration? Uh, so let's hear your discussion. Uh -huh. What are the consequences of frustration? You can unmute and talk to one another, okay? Hello, Natian. Mm-hmm. Yes. Oh, I frustrated. Oh, causes of frustration. Mm-hmm. Kona. One of them is low productivity. Mm -hmm. High, high, you need high turnover, high staff turnover. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, high labor turnover. Okay. Demotivation.
staff are not motivated to do work. Kasa. <laughs> 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 Nimesema motivation, like staff are not motivated to do their jobs well, so they are uh -huh. demotivated. Then it leads to high staff turnover. Oh, yeah. Like many people in this organization, uh, it leads to low profitability. Nimesema low productivity. Oh, oh productivity. Um, um, Shoddy yeah. job, like staff will end up doing a shoddy work. Uh huh. Uh, uh, poor job performance, someone. So, it's a quite unique low productivity. It leads to it. Yeah. Why your point, too? Aje? Like, nasema yenu, nasema should the, should the job, should the work, to kaa hiyo, or like, hiyo sasa itaonekana due to like, low productivity. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. It's just one of the same points. Yes. Na, hini gini meifa aje? Gani ya? Ingine ni tadi. Uff. Yeah, let's get to scare. Ah, no, the ah, I can can't we say it leads to low profitability? Uh, mm. Can you say like it can cause stress? Stress and depression, like when one is frustrated. It is a lead to stress and depression here because this is what it is is our organization and our individual. Yeah. I love to get to the same, it will lead to conflict in the organization. Like many people, what are you to argue because everybody is just frustrated, so it will lead to conflict. Yes.
Hi. How about your discussion? Eh? Uh, some of the consequences of frustration may include um, poor performance, uh, high rate of labor turnover, uh, increase in accidents and injuries, uh, mistakes and errors, a high rate of absenteeism, excessive complaints and grievances, antagonism towards organization and its management, resistance to change, all those are uh, ways in which Frustration can affect uh, organizations' performance. Now, hence mechanisms that sometimes are used by people in dealing with frustration. Uh, defense mechanisms that are used normally used by people in dealing with frustration. Uh, some of those defense mechanism are we together some of those defense mechanisms uh, that people actually employ to help deal with frustrating situations include like denial sometimes one may be in denial when they are in a frustrating situation they can be in a position of denying the, that the situation ever existed like uh, maybe one is a uh, is uh, has got uh, or maybe is affected or is, is as a terminal illness the first realization that they have terminal illness is normally first of all affect a person with uh, the issue of denial, denying that that actually is the reality. So denial is a, a situation or a fact which becomes too much for a person to handle and one may simply believe or simply refuse to experience it. In other words, uh, somebody tries to deny the reality. Like let's say, for example, there's a, a failure in exam. Maybe one takes an exam, and very important exam, and then they, they fail it. Then they fail to get what they exam was meant to lead them to achieve but then now they try to wish away the fact that they are not able to attain their goal or the unpleasant consequences of failing the exam they don't want to take it in, take it in and believe that it is the reality they try to deny that they ever failed that exam or that exam never existed. So in most cases, denial helped people in protecting themselves against the, the reality of the unpleasant consequence. The reality of the unpleasant consequence. Are we together? I don't know whether I'm affecting me. Just, just right there. Yes, I need to know whether I'm talking to people who are there. Uh, another way of dealing with frustration
another way of dealing with frustration is uh, it's repression repression is where one refuses to accept the reality one refuses to accept the reality of a uh, of the negative situation one refuses to accept the reality of the negative situation so in many cases uh is trying to repress, to repress to or to to refuse that this kind of the situation is not actually existing so it's kind of repressing the negative aspect of the event that frustrates the person So in many cases somebody would just drive the situation to the back of their mind Another method, another way to deal with frustration is displacement. Uh, this is where, uh, where somebody, for example, has endured uh, a challenging, a challenging work or a difficult work which frustrates them. Uh, they, they, they they want to to get it out of their mind or to have a feeling that it it's something that they they are not responsible or uh, it's not affecting them in other words one wants to transfer the effect of frustrating uh, frustrating experience to another object or individual for example uh, an employee was frustrated at work and then when they come home they vent that frustration on a third party or on someone else or they get a dog and they kick it or they they hit a wall with their fist or they direct it to maybe their spouse or their children uh, so, so it's, it's a displacement of exactly what's happening to them so they they vent their anger on something else which they're not supposed to so that is a, a some way helping them to deal with their frustrating situation uh, Another way of handling frustration uh, which people have used is projection. Projection uh, 
is is a, for example where one this is where one uh, find themselves or find themselves uh, find themselves in a situation where they feel that other people are the way they are like uh, if they are they are feeling uh, jealous then they feel that everyone also everyone else is also jealous or if they are feeling annoyed or angry at something then they feel that even other people are also annoyed and angry at an object in other in other words the negative qualities that are in a person is uh, uh, that particular individual feels that other people also are like them so they it's more of a, an insecurity issue eh? when one is a, has got negative qualities then now project those negative qualities on someone else like <clears throat> they would accuse somebody of uh, for example of not liking them or talking negatively of them while in the real sense or reality that person is not does not have bad blood or negative uh, attitude towards them but it is because they have that feeling within them so they feel that even other people uh, feel the same way about them So whatever one is feeling, so the frustrating feeling that one has, he tries to uh, project it, he tries to, uh, to accuse or to believe that even other people have got those same similar feelings that they have. Another, another way in which people handle frustration is through regression. Regression means It means uh, somebody would try to, to reflect back to a time when things were well, when things were going smoothly. So it, you would refer to, I used to be this way, I used to be that way, I used to. Uh, things used to be very good uh, during those early days, but so they are trying to reflect back on their past achievements, on their past good performance, on those things that we were able to do well uh, during those early days. So in, in other words, they try to they try to bring back memories, memories of good days. Uh -huh. You find about people trying to tell you about I used to be, I used to be that. Those days when, uh, when I had this job, when I had money, I used to go to five star restaurants. I used to drive a fast car. I used to visit. I used to go on holiday. Those kind of things. I so see you find that they are trying to reflect back on the things they have done because uh, in their current situation they are not able to achieve the former heights or the former level of performance. Mm. So that gives them uh, a reason not to confront the current challenge, but just to uh, reflect on the previous uh, successes. Another method is called Sublimation. Sublimation is whereby uh, sublimation is whereby when one transforms their conflicting emotions 
or unmet desires or impulses into productive outlets. For example, you heard about those people who instead of venting their anger on people or on something, they would take a run, they would decide to go for a jogging or go for an exercise, or they may decide to take a sports activity, go and play football, go and play uh, hockey. They find something else to vent their frustration on. So they feel frustrated, they go do something else. There are those, for example, when they get frustrated, instead of uh, arguing or causing trouble, they find something to do as a way of releasing that energy. And they will do it with all their commitment and dedication uh, to help them handle a situation like that. Uh, another method of handling frustration or another defense mechanism is known as rationalization. Uh, rationalization occurs when one tries to explain their bad behavior away. Occurs when one tries to explain their bad behavior away. In other words, uh, they would say that I do this because of this, this situation that confronts them or that is before them. In other words, they try to justify a particular behavior. Or they, like, for example, wanting to blame someone else for their uh, mistakes in life. For example, say, I am this way because my parents gave birth to me in Africa. That's why I'm in this particular situation. Or maybe it is because of uh, my in-laws practices or my relatives practice witchcraft uh, or it is because of this and that. So they find a way of blaming the, the current situation on something else. Now, uh, rationalization tends to be used mostly by those people uh, because of their ego. They don't want to admit uh, their inadequacies in life. So they try to find out ways in which they can be able to, uh, to handle the situation. Jensera, you have an issue. No, I don't. Oh, very good. So, uh, so those defense mechanisms are, have been used by as many people as a way of dealing with frustration, trying to handle it so that it has got a, a minimal effect on on a, on a person or on them, on the person who try to use them. It's they are like a shield, a shield to defend or to defend, protect someone against the negative or the irrationality or the bad behavior uh, that are associated with uh, frustrating situations. Uh, so on the uploaded material, you'll be able to find a uh, suggestion by several 
uh, authors, uh, there are uh, types of defense mechanisms, the mechanisms that have been used to handle frustration. Eh? They are right there. You can be able to go through them and read through them. Uh, so that gives you understanding. Uh, are we together? Uh, there are also so those defense mechanisms are there. They have been outlined like uh, this is a summary for there's a, a table there with the summary of the defense mechanisms. You can look at them uh, so that gives you a more clear. Now, uh, I think we need to, should be, uh, we have now covered all the topics uh, from the online interaction. We started with, uh, let me let me check where we started with, what we had started with. We started with, uh, Good way, is it? Uh, we started with leadership. Is it leadership? Or group development? Did we look at group development and leadership? I think we started with leadership. Or maybe group development. We went all the way to the end and then we again picked from the start. Uh, up to frustration, but in case we have not covered anything, we we'll still be able to look at uh, them as we engage. Uh, now you've had the information that universities are not opening until January, um, but yet there's still no communication and guides. Ah, I think there are some areas that we have not touched. I think group formation, I uh, will be able to look at group formation. So I'll upload, I'll, I'll uh, upload quizzes here for your trials. And I realized that I did not upload the notes for attitude, but I will upload them. I realized today I didn't upload them, but I will upload for you to refer. And then, uh, We'll also touch on uh, group formation, I think, and I'll upload notes on that. Uh, I think it's leadership that we had started with, yeah? yeah. We can, this uh, leadership, yeah? so, uh, Yeah, it is the leadership that we started with. Uh, Yeah, we started with leadership, eh? and uh, so we'll go back to group formation next week, and uh, group formation, group formation. So we 
we look at topic seven, we look at group development, yeah, that group development. Uh, for today, I want to share with us a few past paper questions. Uh, so that it can orientate us. But still, I will place on the portal, I place on the portal is for us to revise uh, a few questions here and there. Uh, uh, let me put one question. Oh, let me get the question. There's one question for us to take a look at as we take into consideration a few others on the portal. Is there any question up to that point, uh, Jen Sarah? Uh, let me give you this. Uh, how would employees react? Take this. Let's check this question. Eh? How do employees react to work related frustration? What is the employee's reaction to work related frustration? How is the employee's reaction to work related frustration? So it can take a look at that question. How would employees react to work related frustration? This is consequences of frustration. Consequences of frustration. <clears throat> How, uh -huh. How would employees react to work related frustration? So put your observation there and you can
Jensera. Yes. Are you still there? Yeah, I am. Carola. And it's gone. Huh? Oh, she's uh, I, I have your, I realized I didn't give you a cut papers. The, the ones that we did in January, was it in January or February? It was in early February and you didn't return the papers. Yeah, I discovered that I have them. I had thought that I returned them, but I discovered they were with me, I think. Uh, just the week I was to return, uh, COVID invaded that. But I think you did very well. You want? Yeah. You want to see? I would like to see mine. Last time the cat was challenging, please. Yeah, the last, the last one. The last one you passed, you. The one for January. No, the one, the online cut. The online one. The online cut. Pass, like really fast. I had a 65 or 60 something percent. Uh, yeah. Let me. Let me see whether I can take a photo of the front so that it's okay. I can project to you. Is it okay projected? Yeah, it's okay. You can. Uh, let me try to take a photo. Or... Let me... The webcam is disabled, it cannot show, eh? It's Thank you. Problem. But but I'm going to, I'm taking a photo eh, of the front cover. Eh? Oh, okay. so, oh, I mean webcam for sharing uh sharing on the, the photo. On the portal, yeah. I think maybe they are something because it's things this I think they disabled it in a way. Oh, I'm just looking for to be allowed. Eh? Let me check. Let me try it again. Ah, oh, it's asking to be allowed. Eh? It's possible. I think it's possible. Let me allow it. Okay.
Let me just share is a photo. You think that oh, yes, I can see it. Well, uh, thank you. Yeah, yeah, it was uh I'll try to no, I, I don't think it can send. Uh, there's no provision to attach on the portal, but No, for individual person, there's a provision to attach for everyone. So I can't attach for everyone. But uh, it was quite well done. Eh? So I've just taken a photo of part of it. Eh? Because I'm using oh, the website, not, not the camera for phone, for the laptop. Uh, this is a camera for laptop. But you, you did well. What? Where did you not score everything? The I had questions, so I like tricky. I'm even wondering how I got a twenty-five. Yeah, they were not hard. They were not difficult. The the only thing about them was that. Uh -huh. they, you have to make your own question like i still have the paper answer all questions uh -huh. and then you uh like question number one highlight uh -huh. five points about any one of the following concepts so you choose your concept and i like yeah. so you find that many people are different answers eh? yes yeah the one that because the next question, the next question, I think you had, uh, let me check. Uh, it, I've not snapped it well, because uh, holding the, the paper upright is a problem. Where is it now? Oh. Ah, it just opened this one. I didn't open the rest. Uh, but the, that question you had four points. Four. 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 You had four answers. Huh? 
One, two, three, four. I'll be one. Huh? Let me share it. Huh? The second question. The second question. Question number D. Eh? Examine any one objective, well, any one subject of your choice about bureaucracy. Now, from that question, uh -huh. you you looked at you looked at uh, organization structure yeah so that was just like a point oh yeah so you just examining right now cuz i'm still seeing the first question only okay yeah. Uh, let me see whether it is there. Mm -hmm. So also for to read, but it's not appearing nicely, but anyway. Are you seeing it? No, I can't. It's the first question I'm seeing. The first one. Eh? Let, me, yeah. let, me, let me try to share it as well. Oh, you didn't photo. No, I can't see. It. You can see it, huh? Yeah. Very, very tiny. I can you, see. You can see, yeah. Yeah. Good. Uh. Yeah. It was how many marks? Four or five? It was supposed to be. It's five marks. Five key issues. Outline five, it was five. Yeah. It was five marks. Oh, five marks. Yes. Five marks, just a moment. Eh? Uh, I'm coming. Okay. Yeah, I, I I'll sorry for that. I'll I'll take a picture of that card and post it so that also you can see it. Eh? It's okay. Yeah, so why did I give you four marks? I'm still wondering. It's like you never... I, I saw the I saw four. Did I see four or there are five? I have uh -huh. written five points. Misunderstanding. Why did, maybe I saw one, two points as one. Yeah, yeah, I think I saw two points as one. Because I'm wondering how did I why did I give you four? And I had five points. Yeah. 
and none of the point is repeated. Yeah, I'm still wondering. I think point number two and number three look like they were one. They look one point. Yeah, I think that could be the reason. But I've like numbered them. One, two, three, four, five. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know how to compensate. Yeah, so the, the rest of the questions were are well done. Be good. You did good, you did well. I think you are one of those guys who got the highest. Let me check, let me see. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No one got that little of that. Ah, uh, no. That you know, the, the thing was, uh, it has got its own challenges. You know, maybe many people have not had papers like that, where you choose yourself a question. Oh, yeah. Yeah, most of them are people choosing for themselves. I think there's only one person who got 27. And then, and then you ask, and then several 24s and 23s. Yeah, so we were top, 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 one of the top persons. Yeah, the, 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 prop, the challenge we did was that people choose a question they wanted to do, like assumption, like social group, social stratification. The only question that had uh, that one was to had no choice was question number D. But oh, it's still that something to choose. We talk about bureaucracy. You are selected one thing and looked at it. Uh, did we revise it in class? Oh, Jensera is gone.
Uh, so let me look at a few questions. Did you see that question, Papa? Uh, I want to is there any question that you have before we look at some questions related to that topic You are currently the only person in this conference. So you 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 did not attempt the the quizzes for stress, but I know you will attempt because you have attempted almost every other. Uh, I was asking whether you have a, a question. asking whether you had a question. Mm, if you have a question, you can. I'll still be updating this, eh? So don't you are don't the only person in this conference. Don't attempt it now. I'll still be uh, updating it. Eh?
So we may create a few questions here and there. So any question, uh, Caroline? No, 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 sorry, uh, Jenzera. And no, I don't have a question. Yeah, yeah let me put a few questions for you to check. Uh, you can do a short division no, or, or else I'll, I'll just I'll just have uh, them there on the portal so that you can check later on right that's that would be better uh, instead of keeping you on the conference eh? it's okay actually I have a question before yeah so there was this question you posted on topic 11 yeah which was discussed the way employees' exceptions have been affect, have affected human relations in organization. I posted it in topic 11. Yes, it was a discussion. Uh, let me look on to it. Eh? Okay. Yeah, just a moment. Eh? It's okay. Just a moment. Topic eleven. Yes, it was on this part. Discussion. Discuss yes. the way employees' exceptions have yes. affected human relations. Exceptions. Is this what I wrote? Yes. Is it exception or exemption? This is in emerging trends, eh? Yes. Okay. Oh, it's emerging trends, yeah. Yeah, not not employee participation, eh? So it seems it's emerging. So it's supposed to be discussed the ways employees. Emerging, what is it supposed to be? Let me give you the, uh, what it is, eh? Yes. Okay. Uh, because I think there must have been a misspelling. Eh? Yes. Topic 
So PT11. It was in uh, emerging trends, not is it? Yes. Emerging it, trends. Yeah, it is that topic eleven. Emerging trends. Oh yeah, yeah, they were. Topic 11, emerging trends. Yeah, yeah, I think. Yeah. Yes, so. Mm, I think it's supposed to be expectations, not exceptions. Yeah? I think it's a mistake. Yeah? So, expectations. Yeah. Because yeah. Uh, it's expectation. Let, let me correct it. Let me correct okay. it. I wrote it speedily, I didn't even look at it twice, eh? It's okay. Expectation, it's supposed to be expectation, eh? Okay, thank you. Uh, sorry for giving you something irrelevant, eh? For all this time, eh? Ah, so you are very keen, that's wonderful, eh? Actually, I was like trying to find out. I couldn't find anything. I was finding another word exam. Yeah, it's expectations. Oh, yeah. You know, with all this, you write and you don't see any. Yeah, it's supposed to be expectations. Uh, supposed to be expectations. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's the way employees expectations, eh? Yeah. yeah. So, so what I can say is that uh, is that I'll just upload for topic six so that you can can be able to, to look at those questions later on. Eh? As right now, it's still muted. You cannot access it. Because I want to add more questions, eh? Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, so yeah, so thank you for that. You are that's very good. You are very keen, eh?
you are currently the only person in this conference.